Hello and welcome to my third and final weather briefing for Aviation Meteorology and Brandon Sperling. I'm going to start off with the continental surface analysis chart. And as you can see, there's really quite a bit of action, especially in our area. Uh, but we can go over to the entire U.S. Uh, we have a cold front coming into the Pacific Northwest up around here. Then we have just a couple lows and high pressure areas across the west and southwest. Uh, then on the southeast, we have a stationary front switching from Alabama to the coast of North Carolina before it turned into a cold front coming up the Atlantic. And there's a small low pressure system right in the center of it. Uh, and then there's a high pressure system sitting over Kentucky. And now for our area, where we have a little bit more to talk about. Uh, right now, we're going to sandwich between two fronts. We have a cold front dipping down from Canada. Canada it's being caused by this low pressure system sitting over uh, Lake Superior. Lake Superior. And down to the southwest over at the North Dakota, South Dakota border, there's another weak low pressure system. And it's got a cold front on the left, warm front on the right. And in between, we have high pressure. And if we look at the satellite, you can see... So where that low pressure system was right here, that's, there's a lot of storms and clouds happening over Wisconsin, northern Michigan, eastern Minnesota. Not much for around here, but across the rest of the United States, there's some spotty storms up and down, like Colorado, down to about New Mexico. And then we have some storms sitting in about Texas, Louisiana. But again, in our area, not really a whole lot. You can do a closer look. And then as you can see, just a few clouds here and there, just mainly cirrus though. But as you move further east from our area, so up here down to the southeast, uh, you're going to get much more clouds, a lot more denser, probably a few storms sitting around. If you want to radar, excuse me, go over to the continental first, and we're gonna have, as you can see those storms up and down around Minnesota, and northern Michigan, Wisconsin, and then down in Texas and Louisiana, there's some storms. But again, our area, not a whole lot. There's a few clouds here and there. There's a little close up. So this is Grand Forks. Again, there's just kind of clouds here and there. And then there's a few spots where there's rain. So like up in around this area and right there. Now, as you go on to excuse me, area forecast, you can see North Dakota. West and central, it's just from a just scattered cirrus clouds, or it's completely clear. Eastern is a little bit more broken at 5,000 cirrus. Other than that, it's pretty clear via farm for both pretty much all of North Dakota. Now, for Minnesota, it changes in some areas. The northwest is pretty much just like North Dakota, a little bit more clear, scattered at 8,000 cirrus clouds via far. But as you move like southwest, now you get widely scattered thunderstorms, light thunderstorms, and a few possibly being severe. And instead of VFR, they're looking at, in the outlook, basically, they're looking more MVFR later on. And then the southeast is where it's supposed to be the worse. Again, widely scattered light thunderstorms, and they can occasionally get down into IFR visibility with the visibility about three statue miles. And again, also possible severe thunderstorms around there. And then the northeastern, there's a little bit less. It's pretty much a little like the southwest, basically, where there's isolated thunderstorms and showers. But they don't really have as much of a risk as they say the southeast and southwest. Now, as we go on to, to take a quick look at the station plots. So we talked about that low pressure system sitting about the North Dakota, South Dakota border. Well, you can see the winds are kind of working its way right around it. So like in the North Dakota, so let's say central and eastern North Dakota, it's more winds are coming out of the northeast. Whereas down in South Dakota, like southwest and South Dakota, is coming out of the southwest. And then the eastern South Dakota, it's out of the northwest. And again, it works right around, basically making a circle. And you can kind of see there's kind of a bit of a front. South Dakota, you're looking up in the, they're up in the triple digits, mid and low 90s. We're up in the 80s and high 70s, a couple of 90s as you go further south. But 
we're mainly in the 80s. So there's definitely like a little front probably stretching right over the border. Now if you take a look over at the uh, this is the air met. So again, those storms that were sitting right over in the clouds that were sitting in Minnesota, Wisconsin, there is, they're predicting to cause some low turbulence from between the surface and about 12,000 feet. But outside of that, and then around the Grand Forks, it's not really that much. But So if you're ever flying down in Minneapolis or just Wisconsin area, you might have a little bit of low turbulence. If you go over to... Uh, let me take a look at the Signet. You can see there, don't have, they're just looking at a convective outlook pretty much for the entire southeast Southern Minnesota, Wisconsin, Northern Michigan. Again, ben, then again, we're pretty much in the clear. There might be some convective activity though, if you're going down to like Minneapolis. So I'm gonna go on to our quick forecast. So, excuse me, let me get this right. There we go. Okay, so this is basically what's going on right now. You have the two fronts coming, kind of closing in on each other. We're stuck in the middle. But as we go on to future, the front's going to push further south. They kind of, kind of, kind of combine and get a little bit stronger. This will cause the storms to be a little bit stronger, but again, it'll be probably a little bit further to the southeast. We're not going to get hit too much. Uh, and as we go even further, storms are going to start pushing to the east. High pressure will drop down out of Canada and kind of take its place. So, outside of that, I think we're all good. Thank you for listening.